Hi, my name is Shania Mason and here we are at the Austin East Magnet High School. I have been a part of the SGA as several leadership roles, uh, president being one of them. I am a band member, I do color guard, I've participated in the homecoming every year. Throughout my four years, from all of my teachers and mentors, I've had the best guidance throughout scholarships and college applications and even been connected with programs like EdTrust. In the fall of 2021, I will be attending the Spelman College in Atlanta, Georgia. It is the top HBCU. It is an all-women's liberal arts college, and I will be majoring in political science, picking up a minor in mass communication. We had already faced a lot during the pandemic, having a change from getting to talk to everyone, being more like a family type to kind of have to social distance and things of that such. In the second semester of my senior year, we lost a total of five students to gun violence, not only in our community, but within the school. That triggered a lot of loss and not only grieving, but it attacked us as students. And that took a toll on us. We were getting this story painted on us that these children are ghetto, these children have all of this to lose. These children will continue to die, but we're going to big schools, we're getting scholarships, we're getting nice job offers coming straight out of high school. But after the shootings, we had increased police presence. We had to get patted down, you have to get wanded, you have to get checked. And not only does that dehumanize a person, you don't know how it feels to walk into a school every day and you're automatically targeted as a criminal. If there is one thing that I wanted elected officials and administrations to recognize, not only within the Austin East community, but nationwide, it would be to reduce police presence within schools. You don't know how it makes a child feel when they walk into a school ready to learn and instantly you're anxious. How can you feel comfortable learning when there's always someone watching us, there's always a camera there, there's always somebody to target us in any kind of way. Only students know what students go through. So you have to get more of an inside look to actually make a bigger change. Just listen to us and we'll show you how the world can be. We've created a resilient community of support for each other and we just need you to do your part. Create policies to where not only do we feel safe, but where we want to come to school.